Florida Family Policy Council, leading the historic battle for marriage. Let's get right into it. Amendment 2. Critics say that it would eternalize discrimination in the state constitution and it's driven by homophobia. What's your answer? Yeah, this amendment does one thing and one thing alone. It defines marriage as the union of a man and a woman. We're doing what 27 other states have done, and that is protecting the definition of marriage in the state constitution so that judges don't look to the state constitution to find some reason to strike down the valid marriage laws. Demonstrators also lined the front of the old Capitol building in opposition of Amendment 2 over the weekend. The amendment is on the ballot for the November 4th election in hopes to define marriage and the rights that come with it. We spoke with people for and against the amendment to give you a small look into what people are saying. Um, my partner uh, receives health benefits through my employer. And if this amendment passes, that would become illegal in Florida. But those who support the bill say this is not true. Yeah, and they're confusing the issue. The Florida Supreme Court has already said that Amendment 2 just speaks to the issue of marriage. If it was also addressing the topic of benefits or any other topic, we wouldn't be standing here today. From WFTV, this is Channel 9 Eyewitness News. One of the most controversial issues on the ballot today has nothing to do with the president. It has to do with marriage and whether it should be defined as one man and one woman in the state's constitution. Channel 9's Barrett Peterson continues tonight's coverage from Orange County. And Barrett, Amendment 2 will need 60% of the vote to pass. Yeah, that's right, Marty. And emotions are running very high on both sides. We're at the corner of Michigan Street and Orange Ave in Orlando. There are lots of sign waving down here and questions about whether younger voters will decide this issue. John Stenberger says it's the most basic family value. Marriage is really a fundamental institution that serves civilization. We don't think about it. It's like the air we breathe. And Stenberger says he's out to protect it define it as one man and one woman and put it in Florida's Constitution. For the last 18 months, groups called Yes to Marriage with widespread support from churches and Say No To have pushed their side of the issue. There were fancy websites and television commercials. Those opposed to the amendment say it's government intrusion at its worst. But John Stenberger believes turning away from one man and one woman attacks a fundamental human institution. We've got John Stenberger on the line on webcam uh, from uh, what hopefully will be a victory celebration a little bit later on tonight. John, are you there? I'm here. Are you there? <laughs> there you are. We are. We are here. Can we get a? Can we get a witness? Sounds like you've got a few friends. We are, we are broadcasting live from Orlando, Florida, at the First Baptist Church of Central Florida. The senior pastor is Pastor Clayton Clore. He is the Jim Garlow of Florida, as we <laughs> like to call him. <laughs> and we are here with about 200 supporters for our victory party, and we are just very thrilled to be here tonight. Oh, John, I can't tell you how proud all of us are here of that result, but regardless of the ultimate result, how, uh, how proud we are of all of the work that you've done now over these last four years. It's been a four-year process. I know uh, you and your wife didn't know you would get into this uh, this deeply for this long, but you've been uh, stalwarts at it. And so God bless you. Thanks so much for your work. Well, well, Tom, there's a couple hundred people standing behind me, and these are the people that really did the work. I just kind of pointed the way, and they... They did what we asked them to do very faithfully, so we're, we're very grateful for them. So once again, you're at 63% without the conservative areas of North Florida. That's very encouraging. And <laughs> Sounds like a celebration going on, John, what you just hear. It's quite a celebration, actually. <laughs> Marriage could now be part of Florida's con Constitution. Amendment 2 that defines it as one man and one woman appears headed for passage. The latest numbers show the measure carrying 63% of the vote. Supporters in Orange County watch the returns tonight at First Baptist Church of Central Florida. Thousands of churches across the state organized to pass the issue. We have to, as a society, hold marriage sacred. We have to hold it up as an idea, as an institution, and say this is something we protect, we aspire to. And that's what the people are saying tonight. And as you can see, so far, 63% of voters supported Amendment 2. It needs 60% to pass. Having protected marriage through legally defining it, we now turn our focus to strengthening marriages with a bold new campaign. From ABC News headquarters, 
this is World News with Charles Gibson. And a different kind of good neighbor policy, a new movement saving marriages by turning to the power of church and community, our series Key to Success. We've been looking at simple solutions to some of the country's biggest challenges. And tonight, it is for better or for worse. Is there a secret to successful marriage? Well, there's a new movement that says there is, but you have to look outside the marriage and involve the community. In an attempt to try and reduce the divorce rate, the Florida Family Policy Council is launching a new statewide campaign called Strong Marriages Florida. The campaign focuses on working with churches and community groups to provide programs for those getting married and for couples who have already tied the knot. In addition to heartache, divorce costs Florida taxpayers nearly $2 billion annually. The time has come to bring back marriage in Florida. And so there is good news. Uh, people from all walks of life across our country are coming together to, in a growing marriage movement. And uh, they're turning the tides in dozens of cities. And I'm honored to stand here today with John Stenberger and the Florida Family Council uh, to launch the Strong Marriages Florida campaign. John's vision to strengthen marriages and families in, in Florida is bold, it's substantive, and it's inspiring. Uh, we are committed to building collaborative relationships and partnerships across racial lines, across denominational lines, economic lines, political lines, to achieve these objectives that John has outlined today. There is not another Family Policy Council in the country uh, which is pioneering in this dual left-hand, right-hand punch uh, that you can see here. Fox 35 News at Bob. This is all about keeping couples together, stopping divorce. Keith Landry reports. Every couple remembers their wedding day, a celebration of love and a bright future together, but doesn't always work out that way. Now a local man wants to discourage divorce by raising marriage license fees. Florida has the highest number of recorded divorces in the country. John Stemberger is president of the Florida Family Policy Council. He says marriage is the foundation of society, and too many people don't prepare before tying the knot. We need to do much more to encourage people to prepare, to lay a foundation, to make sure that they should get married to begin with. But every civilized, modern society has always regulated marriage through public policy. That's nothing new. What we're doing is we're creating an optional, this is not something mandatory. This is an option. They can opt in to get the counseling or not. It is important enough, if we made it mandatory, Scott, you'd be arguing that it's government interference. It's just giving them a choice. They can either pay a higher fee or they can get prepared. There was a study done last year on the taxpayer's cost to divorce and unwed childbearing. And it's enormous. We spend as a state $1.9 billion a year as a result of family fragmentation. What this bill does is it creates an optional, avoidable, one-time fee uh, that will significantly reduce the taxpayer's burden by creating a strengthening families and strengthening marriages. Um, and so uh, it, it also creates a positive incentive for couples to do the right thing and to get preparation. You know, I mean, we spend, how many years we spend getting educated for our careers? This is a lifelong relationship that is the most challenging and complex human relationship. And how much time do we spend preparing for it? For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united with his wife, and they will become one flesh for God's design. Florida Family Policy Council, defending God's design for marriage.